morning. It is Drive to Rhinebeck Day. Please excuse my weirdness, weirdness, redness on my face. I'm like really anxious, so I've got like just kind of <laughs> weird red streaks. But um, it's Friday, October 14th. It is my niece's birthday. She's turning 16, which is pretty exciting. And I am driving down to Rhinebeck, and I'm going to meet up with a group of people that trip they're driving from Ohio I think and I will also be going to Woolen Folk I'm trying to decide based on what time I'll get there if I'm going to be at the hotel meeting people first and then go to Woolen Folk or if I'm just going to head to Woolen Folk so I will uh, take you with me and try to get the footage that I can get I have arrived so um I left late, so I didn't think I'd make it to Woolen Folk, and I was waiting for one of um, my other friends to see if we would go together, but unfortunately the bus that they are riding on kept running into road work, so they will not be at the hotel first, they'll go to dinner first, um, and my ride will be here around 6, so I didn't really have a lot of time to kind of sneak it in, and I didn't want to get lost. So I'm missing Woolen Folk this year, but that's okay, um, it's my first time at Rhinebeck, I can't possibly do everything and um, I'm sitting on the grass and I'm going to work on some knitting um, I had literally everything that could go wrong went wrong on the way down here so I was driving to the motel and like just down the road was a, a nail place and I was going to do color straight for my nails I had like this whole manicure picked out and I knew it wasn't gonna have time to do it this morning so I was planning on bringing it with me but I didn't bring it with me. So um, I went to that nail place and got my nails done, a nice little gel manicure. And um, the, the coolest thing, she had like this really hot towel and did this whole like neck and shoulder massage, neck, shoulder, back. Oh, it's just what I needed. It, like took a lot of stress, a lot of tension out of my back. It feels amazing. And she gave me a hand massage. So I am reset in a good mood and um, excited and also very nervous to meet the group of people that I'll be spending the weekend with. I did not finish my sweater before ride back. So while I'm waiting for the group that is going to bring me to dinner, I am squeezing in any minutes It is now Saturday morning and I am riding the bus with the group of people headed to Rhinebeck for the first time. At Rhinebeck, I was surprised to see that it was not just yarn. Stuffed animals and handcrafts were around and it was really great to see some fiber crafts and of course so much yarn. I did get a chance to swing by Bubblebee Acres and they are a pretty fun yarn company and they do a lot of themes based on series and books, which I think is awesome. I got to meet Sam of Bumblebee Acres and she was kind enough to do a selfie with me. And then I found Jen, Boston Jen from Down Cellar Studios in the wild and we took a picture. Of course, I also thoroughly enjoyed the sheep barn. There was so many different sheep to look at and I was able to learn some more about the different breeds and it was fun to see their owners and the family that helps take care of the sheep. There was some uh, people doing some fiber crafts. So How long have you been spinning? Uh, let's see, since my oldest daughter was in third grade, so that would be like nine and she's now 36. So, uh, like 25, um, no, 27 years. <laughs>
excited to meet Natalie of Nitty Natty Podcast. I have been one of her original subscribers for her membership, Love and Stitches. So we have interacted a lot over the last couple of years and kind of gotten to know each other. I know a lot about her. I wasn't sure she knew a lot about me. But the coolest thing was when I was waiting in line to chat with her, she recognized me by my name and was seemed excited to see me, which made me feel like a celebrity and just made my day. So um, I just want to let you know that she is just as genuine and sweet as she appears on her podcast. I also got to meet Aquila, the lefty knitter. And I started following her last year during October, and she's wicked cute. I also got to meet Vanessa of Knitty Witch, Kevin and Ray of Needles at the Ready, which made me feel like a complete fangirl. And then, of course, I saw the Grocery Girls and was so excited. I couldn't contain myself, kind of ran towards them like a loony bin. And I also got to meet Legacy Fiber Arts. I have been following them for a long time. It's a mother and daughter duo who dye yarn and have a podcast. And then I got to meet Kristen and Maddie of We Share Needles podcast. They are super bubbly and cute, just like they are in their podcast, and it was a pleasure giggling with them. I also got to meet Christy of Yarn Cafe Creations. Her and her daughter Tristan are my two favorite yarn dyers. I also, of course, got to get a selfie with Tristan of Dragon Court Yarn. And then I met Chevy Rell, which totally made me feel like a fangirl as well. She is hilarious and super cute and is the exact persona you see on her podcast. We did a large group photo with her, and I will try to put up a picture of that here if I can find it working on my sweater on the hill Saturday, trying to really finish it. Maybe I can have it done by tomorrow. And luckily I was able to finish my Rhinebeck sweater on the hill Saturday afternoon, which kind of makes it more of a Rhinebeck sweater. And it was really a good feeling to have it finished and to be able to wear it tomorrow. This was perhaps one of the coolest things I got to see. This was a fleece to shawl competition, meaning that they had the raw fleece and then they had to cart it and they had to um, turn it into roving and then spin it and then they had to weave it into a shawl. They had um, three large groups that were doing it and the funniest name group was called Pretty sweet to watch. I wish that I had more time to watch 